Hi, Hiram here. I have another test here of a stove that I bought on eBay. Uh, some of you know that one of my favorite burners is the Trangia or Trangia. I always call it Trangia, but I've been told that it's Trangia. The Trangia burner comes in two sizes, I think. This is the big one that was with the, uh, uh, the Swedish kit. And then there's a smaller one. The smaller one comes with a little cap on here lid so that you can adjust the flame I've gone through like I said I like this burner but trying to find a stand that works with it I got this one the West Wind stove the uh, burner just fits down in here like this but I think it turned out can you see that yeah I think it turned out that these fins just acted like big heat sinks and sucked heat away from the stove. I'll look for the links and show you the test that I did on this. Uh, another one that I got was this Trangia Mini Trangia. It's a whole cook kit. Comes with a pot and a lid. But this is the burner. The, I mean the pot stand. This is the pot stand. The burner just fits down in it. It's held in the center of the pot stand. But here again, I think these acted like large heat sinks and just sucked the heat away. Although it was pretty good. But the other problem is the stove, the burner, sets on the ground. There's no sort of insulation to keep it from getting cold on the ground. I even went as far as trying a test where I used three 16 penny nails in it to hold the pot up. This worked pretty good but again it laid on the ground so whatever cold came up from the ground cooled it off too but this worked pretty decently and cheaply. 16 penny nails, three of them but then I saw this stove on eBay. I thought it looked kind of interesting. Uh, on the ad it was called the Phoenix Alcohol Stove. Cost me $13. The box says, I don't know, Alex A-L-O-C-S Spirit Stove. It's all in either Japanese or Chinese. I'm not sure which. No instructions with it, but I mean, it looks like it's pretty much self explanatory. Comes with a light stand. These fins and legs all fold up into it, so it gives you a smaller package, but it doesn't fit inside the uh, pots at all. You just swing the pot stand out, the legs out. And there you have it. This weighs, the stand is 87 grams or 3.05 ounces or 0.19 pounds. The burner looks like it's a direct knockoff of the small Trangia. Just has a different, made out of cheaper brass. This only weighs with the lid and the the uh, adjuster weigh 100 grams or 3.5 ounces or 0.22 pounds. So all told, both of these together weigh eight, 188 grams, 6.6 uh, .6 ounces or 0.412 pounds. Don't worry about memorizing that. I'll put it over in the text. This is definitely not a gram weenie item, but I like the looks. Like I said, it looks like it's a direct knockoff, <clears throat> except it's made out of cheaper metal. I have found in the past, well this would have been a good opportunity. I found in the past that these burners don't burn very well on their first runs. So I already filled this up and let it run. So we'll put some more alcohol in it now. The one thing that they did do different with this is, for the adjusting, it has a little handle here so you can reach in and put it on. 
unfortunately the old one doesn't and you kind of have to you know play around with dropping it in there now you can't change the how much flame is here while it's on but you can lift it off and adjust it the uh, simmer ring so that's a kind of a cool thing might be something you can easily do to the old ones okay let me fill this up with or put some alcohol in this while we're waiting here let it soak up in I was saying there was a great opportunity for me I should have done a test on this the first run and the second run and see how much the times differ I've just found in the past that new stoves don't seem to work as good as they do later on another thing with this is this won't be very good for a small pot here's my fire maple it barely fits on there it's a little too small but it falls right between the, the legs I think the Boy Scout pot kit will fit on here alright but what I'm looking at there is if all this stuff is out of the way maybe it won't act like a heat sink okay let's light this up let it get going See that flame? Yep, just barely. Now let's see how long it takes this to bloom. Well, one thing I found is one or two of the holes on this aren't burning. I may have to stick a wire in there and clean it or something. But I just wanted to see what this burns like by itself okay, it's just about ready to bloom I have two cups of water here unfortunately it's been sitting in the room so now it's room temperature of 55 degrees that's like five degrees lower than what I usually test at but we'll make allowances that shouldn't make up too much difference in time Okay, looks like it's blooming there. Barely. Again, here it's off of the table or off of the ground. So once this heats up, it shouldn't suck the heat out through the uh, where it's touching on the ground. Okay, I'm going to assume, figure that that's blooming. Let's put the water on, two cups got to get it on the legs just right I think there we are two cups starting at 55 degrees and let's see where this goes And here we have 210 to 11 to 12 in 7 minutes and 27 seconds I'll have to check back on my other tests and see how this compares I think it's a little long one thing I noticed with this is the uh, the distance from the distance from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pan is about an inch and a quarter which makes it I think a little bit uh, longer than where the sweet spot usually is 
this pot stand is made for a much larger pot. Once again, this fits on here, but it's a little close. Now, like I said, I like the Tranja burners. One, because they're handy. Two, because you can just store your uh, fuel in the thing. Once it's done burning, or you're done with it, you can just smother it. Okay. Show you what the simmer ring does before I put it out. See how it narrows down the flame? And you can adjust it to different amounts of uh, flame. But anyway, your best bet for putting this out is to use the simmer ring and just put it out. Don't use the lid because there's an o a plastic or rubber o-ring in there which will melt and just mess up your day. I know a lot of people take it out and then use the cap. I prefer not to do that because sure as heck one of these days I'm going to forget to take the o-ring out. Again put it on there, mess up my day. I mean you can find new o-rings but this melted plastic or melted rubber on the stove won't be good. So I always use the simmer ring and with this handle, this is cool, this is nice having a handle like this. Uh, just wanted to check something. I think they just copied this lock, stock and barrel. Yep. The cap from that one fits onto this body. So they just copied all of the same sizes when they made this. It looks like it's a knockoff. So, that's the Phoenix alcohol stove that I got from eBay for $13. Forget if there was shipping on this. Wouldn't have been much. It got two cups of water to boil in 7 minutes and 27 seconds using my Boy Scout pot, my standard number one. Again, I'm using the shorter pots now because the room temperature is much colder and this cuts down on how much extra metal you have there acting again as a heat sink. So this is the Phoenix or the Alex, I'm not sure which, but I'm sure you've seen these around. So I look forward to your input. Thank you for watching and I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.